Welcome to the University of Lisbon. My name is Luís Tinoca and I am the national coordinator for the Aditi project in Portugal. The European Doctorate in Teacher Education has been a tremendously challenging and at the same time rewarding project where we had the opportunity to collaborate with five different partner universities. Innsbruck, Brno, Masaryk University, the University of Budapest and also the University of Lower Silesia in Poland. We had the chance to hire 15 early stage researchers to work in this crucial topic in an emerging European context around teacher education. It was the first time where the discussion came. Uh, how do teachers actually feel that they not just teach in or for Austria, uh, in Greece, for Greece, in uh, wherever, and think of the whole of what it means to be a teacher in Europe. innovative was the whole project because usually doctoral studies are done at one institution and you have the guidance and supervision by individual professors from that institution but now we had five universities involved in setting up a project like this and this of course brought challenges and innovation on the institutional level on the one hand because the institutions had to align their programs somehow in some country they are national programs, in some they are university policies. And to bring that together, to have one uh, European doctorate, that was the first innovation which I think we have been uh, doing very well in aligning those five institutions. And the second one is the personal level because all the individual doctoral students, they had to spend some time at the other partner universities. And this, of course, meant that they knew about their research question and they had experience in the country where they were at their home university, but then they had to go abroad. And this is like being a professional stranger in a different field with your own expertise which you bring in there. And this is something which you can't steer because it does something to you. It's a happenstance. So it has a transformative force on that. And that's very important for teacher education because it's the same in classrooms when you have diverse student populations. You know, It's not something where you can just come and teach. It's, it's a kind of dialogic process. It's a responsive process which is going on. And this is what I think uh, has been innovative, and especially talking about Europe and beyond, there is different strands of research involved, so that you also had to see how you struggle with the different uh, approaches which happen in those different institutions. And that's something where we all learned a lot. And I hope and I think that some of the institutions will have learned to be more open through this experience because Edite tried to open the field rather than enclose it. And this is what we need in the future. Open academia, open challenges where we can go into the field, get research and try to make society better. What is specific uh, in the case of uh, Edita is that uh, uh, some of the uh, participating universities, including mine, 
uh, was developing its first uh, English uh, English language doctoral program in the framework of Editor. That means that with the help of Editor, with the support of the Editor project, we could uh, penetrate into a new area of uh, working with uh, uh, international uh, students. And in the case of Editor, I could say that that, uh, uh, that has been particularly uh, successful. Uh, the Editor researchers were the first uh, uh, foreign uh, doctoral students in our doctoral school and now we have more than 20. So this, uh, uh, this development was uh, basically uh, inspired, uh, very strongly influenced by the, by the approach we followed in, uh, in Edita. And I could also add that uh, in the case of ALTA, my university, uh, we were using, uh, we have been using editor uh, as a source of uh, uh, innovations. We could try out innovative solutions uh, in this program that wouldn't have been possible in the regular programs. And then after uh, this first trial within editor, we could transfer them to the other parts of the of the doctoral school. But this is also very frequent that uh, when universities are entering such uh, international cooperation programs, it becomes a kind of innovation platform for, for, for them, which is generating further innovations in their daily practice. This is what we could experience in, in, in Adida. <laughs> The value of Edita as a program because I'm not alone in designing this picture. I have one piece of puzzle and my other my colleagues, my research community, they have other pieces of puzzle and the way we 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 could connect it is the true value of, of Edita as a program, as a as a community of researchers, as a as a transnational um, um, uh, program that connects very different researchers into one big picture. Thank you. Uh, I would compare uh, my experience in editor to uh, the experience of a house builder or architect designer who has the privilege to take part in a team which is uh, constructing, building, and uh, having this pleasure of uh, contributing to this, to put some bricks into this building, which is still unfinished. So this is a building that we can continue to build. Thank you, Gabo and I come from Greece, from Thessaloniki, and I have been an early stage researcher since three years with a European doctorate in teacher education. I have recently graduated and been awarded with a doctoral degree by both the University of Innsbruck and Elke University in Hungary. Being part of EDITE those three years was a great experience and also a privilege to me because I had the chance to conduct my research on teacher education in a transnational way, I could be uh, taking a mobility to another country where I could also conduct my research. And I had the chance within those different countries to work with partner organizations, with schools, policy institutions, other researchers, and in this way be part of a transnational European community. Great thing with the DITE is also the fact that I have been taking part uh, at summer schools and virtual seminars that build my qualifications as a researching teacher educator. And what was especially interesting in this part is that we have five different universities, all from different countries, working towards one common goal and uh, 
aiming towards the same direction, but we have very different systems. We act in different countries, different regulations, uh, but we are trying to move all together in one direction to a more unity and a common experience and achieving and fulfilling the project. So there's on one side there's this vision which gives you a lot of freedom where you think okay this is where I want to go and how do I get there and you have the impression on the way you can find your way how to reach this vision. But then there is also the very practical technical part because we got a grant from the European Commission, it's the Horizon 2020 grant, it's a very prestigious and very generous uh, funding and this of course always comes with responsibility. <laughs> Os nossos heróis que dormem nos covardes